Hey, <laughs> it's Wednesday, and I hope you're having a great week. Uh, been kind of quiet, getting a new refrigerator. I think it's the last refrigerator delivery uh, because they aren't doing deliveries, so hopefully it comes in when it's supposed to. Anyway, we're going to do a savory dish. I think this came from one of my uh, food processor books, I think. I'm not really sure. I have to look into where it came from, but it's uh, corn cakes. And uh, they're little cakes that you put off to the side with some salsa. So I've got uh, cornmeal, and you go ahead and get cornmeal anywhere you want in a little box. This came from a, a, a cute little place in New Orleans. I, I took an Uber uh, out to this bakery that also milled their own flour. And when I was out there, I couldn't get an Uber driver to come back. It took forever. But anyway, we've got cornmeal. We've got... Um, self-rising flour which I had some in my pantry and if you don't have any self-rising flour what I'll do is I'll do the conversion for you in the recipe so look for the recipe with the conversion then we have buttermilk now I've done this with taking regular milk and souring it with lemons some people do that it doesn't work very well so make sure you use real buttermilk and we got some eggs corn this is something you can use any way you want this is a uh, little corn from the can, the little Mexicorn. And a funny little story, when I was working on one of my books, my editor up in uh, um, Canada, she wrote, I don't think you're allowed to call it Mexicorn because that's pretty racist. And I said, well, that's what it's called. And she did not believe we had a product down here in America that was called Mexicorn. So what I did is I took a picture of it and sent it to her. And she says, well, okay, I guess we'll use that. I think it was for this recipe. So I'm trying to think of which book it was. So Mexicorn. Also, what's really good is the roasted corn frozen that Trader Joe's has in the frozen bag. They, it comes with a little uh, seasoning. Don't use that, just use the corn itself. Take a corn off the cob. It's only a cup, so one cob. I had some corn left over the other night, but we ate it, but I would have used that. And we have a little salad oil, that's it. So the easiest part of this is mixing all the ingredients. So we just take the cornmeal and our flour and we blend that together by itself. So there it is. We don't want to put all the water or the liquid in here yet. Now we take uh, our eggs and our buttermilk and we blend that together. So there's our buttermilk. One time on the morning show, I had whole milk and the heat from the studio created my milk to become curdled. So when I got live, I didn't see it until I started cur it was curdling. So I changed the recipe and I said, oh, you used buttermilk. So I was lying through my teeth. You have to think of quick things when you're doing stuff like that. Now we've got our liquid and our dry. So don't believe anything on television. Believe everything I tell you now. Then we're gonna take our liquid and add it in. Now this is gonna make about 12 large corn cakes or about 24 small ones. We blend that up. First I take a spatula and just clean it up a little bit. Then I will take my whisk. And this gets thicker as it sits because that cornmeal becomes like paste, just like that. Clean the edges, and it's almost like muffin batter. Take your corn, add that in, fold it, just stir that in, get your heat going. Now I've got a nonstick pan, so I'm gonna try this without oil on the bottom first, and if it starts sticking, I will get a little bit of oil on the bottom. Again, we're gonna use one of our scoops. This is a number 30. So remember, that means 30 of these flat takes a quart of Ben & Jerry's ice cream. So if you have the large eight, you only get eight. Here you get 30. Technically, it's really a um, 30 mashed potatoes is how it was done, but I think Ben & Jerry sounds better. So now we're gonna take, put each of these about three here and I'm gonna get another spatula to kind of well smooth it out to make a little cake like that you can take the scooper let me get a spatula 
You know, you want to do a close up of these while I get a spatula. So you can see what those look like already. And now we will wait until they. Let's see if we can do this without the oil first. Non stick, sometimes you need the oil, sometimes you don't. So, kind of, I think they're going to be okay. Because why? I am a professional. Now I say that, and now it sticks. <laughs> I should never say I'm a professional. Okay, we're gonna get rid of that first one. <laughs> I'll go to the second one. I'm a professional, so I'm gonna show you how to do this professionally. So, while we do that. Now, you can use any kind of salsa you want. My favorite salsa is from that Mexico restaurant down in, San in Los Angeles, um, but, uh, you put a little bit of salsa on top. You can do some corn salsa if you want. There we go. And these, you just treat them like pancakes. And you make these up. These are perfect to make up. Put a little piece of paper towel in between each and you can throw them in the freezer and pop them out later on. So if you have are having a dinner party or something. And they're great for little individual little bites. So you can, so there's a couple of them right there. So let me get a few of these already done. And these are perfect as a side dish. That one I kind of messed up when I did it. So we'll Lower the heat a little bit. We don't want it to smoke too much. And it's getting a little hot. Let's go. Come on. Oh, there we go. And make sure that it's, it gets thicker. So you want to make sure you push it around so you get the whole thing. And it's almost done. Just like that. So these are your cakes. Now all the messed up ones, I always hear, if you do that with pancakes or anything like that, that when they mess up, that means there's no calories. Just baloney, because throw them away. You just toss them in to the, there we go. So we'll finish these up. We'll edit that out. <laughs> what, throwing them out? <laughs> nah, just like everybody else, when you do things, it looks better when you see me mess up things, but those work great. Let me get a little bit of salsa. And, whoop. Uh, see, I take the salsa and I put it in a jar so people think I make it myself. No, not really. But I just love the salsa from La Super Rica. No, that's San Francisco. Uh, Casita del Campo. And there is your salsa on top and there's three more so these you would not serve as a main they'd just be off to the side from your like an appetizer appetizer or you've got your main dish and here's a little bit more a little on top so here we go so there's your corn cakes tonight easy to do doesn't take too much we hope you like them. Throw them off to the side. Have a nice steak or a hamburger and enjoy the rest of the week. Take care and thanks for watching.